हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर ज्योति शे गोकार आई वेलकम यू इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल विच इज मेड फॉर द स्टडी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री इट्स नेम इज केमिस्ट्री इन इंजीनियरिंग गाइज टूडे वी विल डील विद टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंट कोरोजन एक्चुअली वी हैव सीन ऑल द टाइप्स ऑफ कोरोजन इन अ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ वीडियोज बट टू इन ऑर्डर टू गेट ऑल द टाइप्स ऑफ कोरोजन इन अ सिंगल वीडियो द स्मॉल अटेम्प्ट इज देयर फॉर दिस इज ऑन टूडे सो टाइप्स ऑफ कोरोजन actually uh, when we see the classification of corrosion corrosions are of uh, two mainly types that is a uh, chemical corrosion and electrochemical corrosion but these are the different examples of corrosion which may be under the chemical corrosion or electrochemical corrosion so these are the particularly types of corrosion that we today are going to deal with so first is a pitting corrosion see here guys these all the types of corrosion can be asked in your exam as uh, the study uh, the syllabus is studied under the uh, santa gadge baba amravati university amravati so any question can be asked for the 2 to 3 marks at least so we will see it in the same video today and on the same plane you will be um, easily understood these all topics and it will be very easy for you to write in the uh, paper or as an answer also so uh, pitting corrosion pitting one by one we will see it pitting pit pit means a formation of a small hole very small tiny hole but where this hole is formed so see here guys there is one condition that one of the metal sheet so this is the metal sheet particularly metal sheet which is of the metal or solid material we know guys a solid material uh, or the metals are only uh, the substances which can uh, undergo the process of corrosion so uh, to avoid the process uh, this corrosion process there are number of methods so for uh, studying the how to avoid this corrosion firstly we should know what is the corrosion and how it occurs so according to that there are different conditions so first condition is that there is a large sheet of metal which is already protected so here one of the layer of protection is there on the upper side of the layer, uh, that metal sheet which is exposed with the surrounding or exposed with any type of media so here there is a layer what the total uh, layer of uh, by which it is coated or sometimes it is possible that already corroded portion of the metal is there means there is a formation of a stable layer stable layer you might know guys this stable layer is having the uh, layer which is already stable which protects the next metal so it is one of the protective layer though it is having a impurities like metal oxide so such type of layer may be found there but accidentally there found some droplet of water which was there before the formation of metal oxide uh, and after the formation of metal oxide that total layer is formed by the metal oxide but that portion where there was a presence of a droplet of water which is now dried out that portion is now exposed with the surrounding that is a very tiny very small portion and when that portion is exposed with the surrounding there is a formation of a concentration cell concentration cell means a different concentration of oxygen so like here where there that pore is found that is totally exposed with the surrounding is having oxygen concentration more means it is comparatively less than the uh, other uh, other uh, portion of the metal like this metal is getting more oxygen concentration comparatively than this portion but this particular portion is directly exposed with the metal itself means this metal is exposed with the oxygen so though it is getting less oxygen concentration it will act as there a anode due to formation of a concentration cell so here there is oxygen concentration low we can say that a poor oxygen concentration but this portion is exposed with the surrounding part of a metal which is exposed with the surrounding so here we can write that it is poorly oxygenated part while these remaining parts of the metal sheet they are richly oxygenated we can write like this they are richly oxygenated more oxygen concentration is there so here in this way there is a presence of uh, that oxygen due to which there is a formation of a concentration cell okay 
Now here due to formation of concentration cell, we know guys there is a possibility of corrosion. And how the corrosion occurs? It is occurred by the formation of two separate layers. One or two separate um, parts of this total metal. So one metal will act as an anode, as an electrode, while another will another electrode or uh, metal that uh, acts as another electrode that is cathode. So here this particular portion will acting there as a as an anode, while remaining portions will act a cathode and formation of a two separate area. So as this particular anode is formed there, on anode, you know guys, on anode always there is a uh, reaction of oxidation occurs. So if this metal is Fe, so this Fe will undergo process of oxidation to form Fe dipositive ions with a removal of two electrons plus two electrons are formed there. So in this way these two electrons which are formed this process is called as a process of oxidation which is possible in any type of corrosion. But now these electrons which are produced these electrons here these electrons can be produced and they are passed to the another part of metal. But this metal part of metal is in presence of atmospheric oxygen. So in atmosphere there are different type of uh, gases or moisture may be found there. So how the uh, process on the cathode will occur? So on cathode due to unavailability of this uh, space we will write here. On cathode there is a presence of one water molecule H2O that is a moisture from the environment. Then one of the uh, oxygen that is half of oxygen we will consider and the two electrons which are produced from the oxidation reaction. So by the reaction of this all that is H2O one molecule, half of O2 and two electrons there is a formation of twice OH negative ions that is hydroxide ions in the two uh, moles they are produced or two, two, two OH ions are produced there. So that is the reaction of reduction. So in this way oxidation and reduction occurs and there occurs ultimately corrosion. And here there is a formation of product of corrosion is there which is naturally produced on the surface of that metal itself. While the portion of that metal means the part or the metal which is getting corroded is from this peat. Is it? So that metal from the peat and oxygen from the environment is reacted to form Fe uh, OH by 2 type of product and that product gets here place. You can see here black colored portion corrosion product has been shown. So it is a product of corrosion. Now due to that uh, the product has got place on the surface this portion of a peat is now again more exposed with the surrounding and here that portion can be increase its size. So in this way there is a formation of a large pinhole or large cavity which can show such type of cracks due to surface tension in the metal. So it is too harmful that to leave a small space whenever during the coating or protecting the metal. So this is one of the type of corrosion which is called as a pitting corrosion. Now uh, you might have understood this. This is a very very uh, means uh, oftenly this, this is found in the metals. Now next we will move towards water line corrosion. Water line corrosion this word itself indicates that it is towards the lining up of water. So when if there is a large tank of water, water storage tank just aligning with this level of the water. Just below the level of water there is a one portion you can see that I have shown it as an anode. So this portion just below the level of water is acting as an anode and the same reaction will occur on the anode. If the metal uh, or the tank is made from Fe or the metal that, that is a iron. So Fe will give Fe dipositive ion with a removal of two electrons. And in the same way that two electrons are accepted by this cathode. And just be, uh, be uh, just ahead this cathode there is a presence of environment. So in the environment in that water itself there is a presence of all the uh, H2O that is the water uh, and oxygen also there in the absorbed condition and also in the environment there is the oxygen. So in this way the oxygen the, on the cathode means here particularly just above the level of water. This portion is acting, this particular portion will act there as a cathode the while this portion is the anode and here there is a formation of this total metal strip as a reaction mode or the particular uh, strip which is under the consideration. So half portion will anode, half portion will cathode. Uppermost portion will be protected while the lowermost portion just below the lining up of water is acting there as a 
anode and get corroded. Here there is a formation of electrodes, uh, electrons that is as it is an anode and these electrons are carried over with the cathode which is uppermost part of the level of the water and in this way here there occurs the process of reduction. You might have seen or you can also uh, google it that on the particular layer of the water there occurs the corrosion just below the layer. So it is because of such type of uh, such uh, this is the reason and such type of water tanks can be corroded by such type of water line corrosion. So these are the problems for the marine engineers sometimes that the different type of plants from the water or uh, from the sea they may stuck to the uh, ships and can be corroded. So special care should be taken or a precaution should be taken by the, by that engineers. Okay, now moving towards our third that is intergranular corrosion. This is the possibility of corrosion in the molten mass of a metal. Particularly when the metal it is in the solid state, all the atoms and molecules they are their own places. But if it is tried to melt, it is converted into the liquid form. The, at that time that molecules can move from one to another place. That atoms can change its size, side uh, or uh, we can say that its uh, location. So, uh, in this way, it is shown in this way that the, uh, these are the shown as a grain centers. These are the atoms or, of that particular elements. So, grain centers are formed there and if there is any uh, unavailability, unavailability of the particular environment or what proper precautions has not been taken, the atmospheric oxygen or different gases like uh, uh, oxides or uh, carbonates can attack on these molten mass of metal and they will get the place in between the two atoms or two grains that is called as a grain boundaries. These are the grain boundaries. So formation of again two separate areas. Grain boundary will act as an anode and here there occurs the process of oxidation to give electrons. So same reactions are applied. This on anode Fe to give uh, to gives Fe dipositive plus two electrons that are accepted by grain centers itself. So here grain centers will be protected and grain boundaries will be totally get corroded. So in this way there occurs the intergranular corrosion. This is possible in the molten mass of any type of metal if it is directly exposed with the surrounding. So the uh, different gases from the surrounding can attack and form the grain boundaries. So it is a possibility so to avoid it so a particular uh, special care should be taken during the process of casting of metal. Okay, now moving towards the next which is called as a stress corrosion. It is not a stress of mind but it is a stress of metal itself. When metal is quenched or twisted or uh, welds are given or uh, sometime it is having, uh, to give the proper shape it is sharpened or the uh, particular joints are given to the metal there is a possibility to create an internal stress in the metal internal stress with the internal stress there is one another uh, factor which is responsible for the stress corrosion that is external environment where that metal is placed where it is located so here it is shown that it is in the aqueous solution Sometimes more than uh, the aqueous solution, some concentrated medias are there. Like in the soil media, like in the uh, some sala, uh, that uh, marine water. If uh, there is found these metals which are in the stressed condition, there will be higher corrosion. So stress corrosion is depending on two main points. One is an internal stress of the metal and another is an external environment which is how it is more concentrated. Higher concentrated metal will, uh, media will give higher corrosion. So in this way, if the such type of twist is given to the metal, there is a formation of two separate areas. You can see here that the one conical portion is formed there which is due to the twist. While these other two broader portions are produced. So due to such type of change in shape, there is a formation of two separate areas. This Quenched portion or twisted portion will act as an anode while the remaining two portions which are there as a broader uh, portions they will act as a cathode and the similar type of reactions will occur. Electrons are formed here on the anode by the process of oxidation and by the process of reduction due to the presence of these aqueous media or any another media. Water molecules are there, half of the oxygen is there, will get ex ex 
swept back electrons and formation of twice OH negative ions. In this way, ferrous can form firstly converted into Fe OH by 2, which is a yellow colored product, then which is if again availability of sorry, availability of such type of metal as well as the environment, it can be converted into Fe2O3 that is ferric oxide at last. Firstly, ferrous hydroxide, then ferric hydroxide Fe OH by 3 and then Fe2O3 which is a brown colored product of um, that is the rust of iron you might have seen everywhere generally it is found as a product of corrosion. So in this way all the types of corrosion we have seen uh, today each can be asked for 3 marks must or more than 2 marks 2.5 to 3 marks for uh, this uh, each uh, type of corrosion can be asked. So in this way we can see uh, we have seen the types of corrosion. If you understood guys once again um, if you uh, not properly got once again watch the video try to understand if you have any question you can ask me you can comment also so if you like this video actually you can uh, press the like button uh, then uh, share to your friends uh, who were required this video so thank you very much uh, uh, and stay tuned with me by hitting the uh, that uh, bell button thank you very much thank you once again